tell you the one thing that will build confidence you need to actually put yourself out there in this school year is letting go of what other people think and living your version of life. Because too many students are living a watered-down version of someone else. They're living a watered-down version of their friends, how their friends want them to be. They're living a watered-down version of what their family pushes them to be or what society suggests them to be as opposed to being their own person. So go all in on you. Whatever that may mean, what excites you, what, what pushes you, because our biggest problem, I believe, is that we compare our behind the scenes to everyone else's highlight reel. We compare our failures to everyone else's highest points of confidence, to everyone else's successes. We compare our insecurities to everyone else's highest points of confidence Then we feel like we're not enough. So go all in on you, whatever that may mean. The one thing that I don't enjoy about my job is that I come to a school and when I was a student in going in to college, I didn't see myself as someone who could really make an impact. I didn't see myself as someone who could really contribute. It was only until I started putting myself out there, sharing my ideas, putting myself in uncomfortable situations that forced me to grow, that I became a beat that contributed to what made my school better because I was a part of it. Realize that you have the ability to make an impact. You have an opportunity to change that story in your head Put yourself out there because when you do, amazing things happen. This school needs your leadership. They need your influence. They need your impact. It is time to show up. We're all carrying things in our pack. All of us are carrying these stories that are imposed by other people, by friends, by family, by society, by Instagram. And what happens is when we are faced with a challenging situation, we approach it with all of that stuff. Some of you believe the stories that you've made up in your own head. The story of I'm not good enough. The story of I'm not academically inclined. The story of I'm not a morning person. The story of I can't really make new friends. The story of I can't really have an impact on the people around me. And now listen, I wanna be abundantly clear. I'm not the guy that's gonna come in here and tell you what stories to tell yourself, but I want you to get back to the place where you can start telling yourself better stories. Stories that you are enough, that you are charismatic enough, that you are courageous enough, that you aren't like them and that's okay because you are like you. I believe when we stop believing the stories that we tell ourselves in our own heads and start telling ourselves new stories, stories that are actually aligned with who we are and who we would like to become, that is when we are able to change ourselves and change the people around us. But I want you to raise the question within yourself of defining the snake in your life. That thing that keeps on coming up that it is time to face. Because here's what I know. Every single person in this room, student and faculty, has something that comes up that tries to get in their way. Make them want to quit and turn around and walk away. And what I know to be true is defining that thing for you is the only way to be able to overcome it. We talk a lot about leadership going into a new school. How do you show up as a leader in this school in the community around it? True leadership is leaning into the things you're afraid of. True leadership is consistently choosing courage instead of fear. True leadership is having the courage, the audacity to take on challenges, things that don't make you feel good while inspiring other people to do the same. It takes courage to make a new friend. It takes courage to stand up for that person that you see on campuses isn't being done right. It takes courage to wake up a little earlier instead of late, to join that student group, to put yourself out there more than you thought that you could. It takes courage to live a great life. So make the decision today of what courageous act are you going to make for yourself and the people at this school. It starts by taking on the things that you can actually affect, that you can control and that you can impact because I see way too many students coming into college and university that allow themselves to be defined by what happened yesterday. They allow themselves to be defined by what happened last week. Some of you in this room think because of one failed test that you are a failure when the reality is those are moments, not characteristics. And my personal belief is that we need to start seeing those moments for what they are. 
moments. 